Well, it's time to call people out. And what I mean by calling them out, I mean calling them out. Bringing them forth to the table and saying, look, here's who they are, and this is what they represent. And the situation we have right now is you have uh, different corporations that are running boxing, and a lot of them don't have a clue about building a fighter. And what I mean by building a fighter, I mean getting a true fighter and building him to perfection. They want to follow a pattern that has been basically laid out for them and what they saw when they were coming up. You know, this goes back to the Muhammad Ali era, to the Sugar Ray Leonard's, to the Camacho, Macho Camachos and all that. They always wanted to find a fighter that was going to appeal to women. You know, they normally have one of those fighters who they make the Serial Kellogg <laughs> poster boy for the sport. But those days have passed and the substance fighters, the ones that's going to get down and dirty and gritty who don't care, they were the backbone or the foundation of the sport. Well, now thanks to science and modern medicine, you know, you got more of these like Calvin Brock type looking heavyweights or fighters like Amir Khan and um, who else they got? They got Victor Ortiz. They got uh, Canelo Alvarez. You know, these, these guys, they want to promote as, like, sex figures. As, like, these new male model types. You know, and they got all these I look too sexy to wear a shirt type guys in the boxing game so that they can appeal to the women so they know the guys are going to come to the fight. But they want the guys to buy a ticket for their woman to come to the fight. And this type of promotion is like, oh, girl, let's go see the buff guys. You know, and here you got David Hay. You know, yeah, I'm calling out names. David Hay. <laughs> like, the worst sham of a, a boxer fighter I, I've seen. You know, every time I've seen this guy, I want to just basically yell, you know, like, I want the director to yell, you know, like cut or something. Because <laughs> this guy, without a question, if you look at this guy and say, this guy is a true fighter or whatever. And, you know, I got to question your your eyes because you must be legally blind. This guy really can't throw a punch. That's, they call him the haymaker because that's basically what he just throws. He just throws haymakers because he doesn't know how to punch. And, you know, the way this system is now, given the way they just, the wins and losses, it seems to be distributed and not earned, you know, it's easy to fathom how they, they this, like, failed male model has made it this far. He's gotten $30 million for two fights. For fighting Klitschko, and then he made another, he made, what, $30 million for Klitschko. Then he made another, what, 10 million? He made 20 something million. No, he made 20 million for the Klitschko fight. Another, like, 10 for the uh, the sham with uh, Derek Shakur, who's another horrible fighter, who's like the mayor of the heavyweight division, who can't win a fight. I mean, I don't know when time this guy's won a fight, but he made himself relevant by doing stupid stuff and posting interviews and it is the this is people's fault we want to see that and because of the viral YouTube or whatever we push that and instead of saying okay let's focus on the substance the fighters that's really mattering in the sport of boxing we're now focusing on these guys that they have pushed in front of us to be the sex figures for the women we're looking at them as the greatest fighters in the game 
or they're up there, they're the top fighters. It's like, are you serious? You know, we can understand. You used to could de detect the deception and say, okay, well, that's airbrush bullshit. This is substance. And you don't put airbrush bullshit before substance. Now they're telling you airbrush bullshit is substance and you're buying it. That's what the problem is. So that's what this whole video is about. <laughs> so what's y'all opinion?